Aye, aye, aye. We in the Dove Shack. This is motherfucking uh, Yucca. <laughs> Yucca from the No Pigeon Podcast. And, uh, of course, your boy Slugger, man. We here. Is we here, though? Aren't we? I mean, we always here. I mean, I'm not always here, but... You not, you're not here mentally, though? No, that's true. Okay. And in here. spirit. And in spirit. The Holy Spirit. Mm, amen, brother. Speaking of Holy Spirit, I ain't wearing a holy shirt today. How about that? Oh, my God. Mama raised me right. Yeah, but you was wearing holy shoes today. No, nah, they just, they, just, they, just, they was perforated. <laughs> so they got holes in them? They, they breathable shoes. You said I got holes in my shoes. I'm getting snow in here. Well, I meant, I meant holes like there was air coming through. But they just, they just, they just breathable shoes. That's why. And it's, it's snowy as fuck out here in Calgary, yeah, Alberta. It's, it's a goddamn winter wonderland. Godly. Right? I'm in so we're going to get into some shorts. We're going to show y'all how to do shorts properly. One more game. And we're going to start off with the Godfather. Mm. The Godfather himself. Because we Samuelites over here. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace. Mm. Right? Uh, let's see what this is about. Time a woman gets cheated on. The woman tells me, my man cheated. My man cheated. I always ask you, how'd you find out about it? Oh, okay. You know what the answer I normally get? Snoop. Now we're starting to get, well, the woman he was cheating on me with contacted me. Oh. And I said, what did you say? Because I told a lady, told two women last night, here's what you should, you better go listen to old school Betty Wright. Mm. Here's what you should have yeah. What you know about Betty Wright? Hey, man, I know uh, that pain. Yeah. Yeah, that's my girl. She called and said, rest in peace. She just passed away, I think, too. Did she? Yeah. I think she did, but you should check on that just in case. I, I don't want to say that if she I mean, all right. I guess we ain't going to say RIP if she's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 before, like, we, before we start this video, see, I got to make on. sure. Not Betty White. No, I know. Betty Wright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, died May 10th, 2020. Rest oh, in damn. peace, Betty Wright. Rest in peace, Betty Wright. Show you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, she was a legend, but. Yeah, you know your husband? Yeah, we having a relationship. Girl, oh, is that you? Is that where he be going on Tuesday? Girl, thank you so much. Appreciate it. By the way, uh. Thank you for taking that off my plate. And, oh, do, do you do you uh-huh. do you tickle him behind the ear? Cause he likes that too. Oh, by the way, he likes his he likes his meatloaf red, not brown. Thank huh. you, girl. Matter of fact, we should go out and have some coffee one day to exchange stories. You know how many women call women like that back? None. Then mm. time a woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do, you, do you like your meatloaf red? I don't know what you mean by that. Like red, like medium rare almost. I mean, not really. I, like I think co- that's what he's saying. Unless he mean a lot of extra ketchup. Yeah, I don't really, but maybe, but I think uh, me, when I do meatloaf, I do the, the, the goat cheese stuffed meatloaf. So when I do, it ain't going to be red. It's going to have that cheese in it. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, some fire shit. I, I wasn't a fan of the goat cheese the last time, though. Well, we, I don't know. We need I, to pick a different cheese. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Right. Not cheddar, though, but. Let's go. Well, Avatar The Way of Water earned over $430 million at the World... Avatar needed to make $2 billion. Dollars. They were they were so confident that they were... Why does this guy keep popping up on my feet? I don't even know this guy. I know, man. He's been popping up on my shit lately, too. I don't know. Maybe it's the advertising or something. It's the algorithms. Shit. I ain't mad at him, though, but let's go. We're going to make... Two billion dollars this opening weekend because James Cameron said that the movie was so good, right, that you can go ahead and use the bathroom because you'll definitely come back to watch the movie anyway. He was that confident the movie was going to make two billion dollars opening weekend. They- you know, one thing I heard about the new Avatar though, that what people are roasting up on Reddit and shit. Woke. No, no, it wasn't even that. It was that like there's some like uh, younger dudes or whatever in in a film, and I guess they used the word bro. So much. Oh no, you can't do that. No, but that that is just like cringy. And it's like, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, bro, and everybody was like, everybody was like making fun of him in the comments, being like, yeah, bro, 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 and like that was like the biggest criticism I heard of the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it. But like, I heard, I heard the movie was mad woke. Was it? That's I what see. I heard. But these motherfuckers need to learn that go woke, go get broke. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah, woke, go, go he, broke. You know what I'm saying? Last yeah, and like, look, look, look what these movies are doing. Look what these movies are doing. They're they're flopping a lot of these woke movies, right? Yeah. So why why that's a bad business? Is why do that? The fans don't want to hear it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stop controlling the narrative. Let's go. They needed to make that to break even, 
So to see that the numbers are that low makes me so happy. Because I'm not gonna lie, you made people wait 13 years for a sequel. I promise you nobody even remembers yeah, I, I barely what the first Avatar was about. What happened in the first and Avatar. I wanna know what the response was for the low numbers. They're going to release an Avatar 2 director's cut. And guess how long that movie is going to be coming? Four hours, nine. Nine hours long. That yeah, is an nice. actual fact. You got to pop um, ecstasy to do that shit. Yeah. You gotta do, no, you got to do mushrooms. That's like your whole mushroom trip. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Where's <laughs> Phil at when you need some mushrooms? You know? Some uh, uh, albino penis envies. Oh, my God. No, that shit on. fucked me up. That yeah. albino penis envy fucked me oh, up. Yeah, I never tried I'm not, I'm not big on shrooms like that, but I'll do them once in a while. Every Once every maybe two, three years when I go camping. I like go once camping. a year. No, I don't do it once a year, but... Mm. Man, did I f- struggle for sanity. I'll tell you that much. I struggle for my sanity, but let's go. If we had a fight, how would you make I like it up this to one. Me? I like this one. This guy's answer is funny as hell. She said, hey, if we had, if a, we had fight, a fight, how would you make it up to yeah. me? All right, let's see. I love it. number one. Hey, how are you? I missed you. Um, so I would gaslight you into <laughs> you thinking you're the problem. Oof. And then I would Never abuse mind. you emotionally to you get to a point where... You only get satisfaction from me and if I tell you you look good or anything like that. And then I would start slightly treating you better so you'd think I'm changing. And then I w- it would be this off and on until you're almost hooked for life. And I'm like almost like a drug to you where even when you're not around me and we break up, like you're yearning for me. Girls like, like that shit oh, though. And if that doesn't work, I'd get uh, go to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't work, go to a movie. Uh, okay. All right, who are you Yeah, who cares about the reveal, but I think that was funny as well. Like, you, know. you said the first one in the black jacket, or did you say the guy behind him? The guy's a gangster. I, I, yeah, I yeah. Oh, oh, academics. Big act, he said. Big no. act. <laughs> Big five, four act. Big little act. Big little act. Let's go. Big what you say? Act, act went hard on the red pill stuff recently. Like he went hard on. Well, it. this one is his little. Funny but he was buying. He was buying ranges for shorty and shit like that. Them them little video girls and shit. You remember that? Nah, I didn't even know about that one. Like something Powell or something. Bought like a Range Rover or some oh, shit. Man. I don't know. Don't quote. Cor- correct me if I'm wrong. But in the I like comments, his, but he changes his changes outlook obviously a little bit. That's good. But I seen that video of him fighting the bitches in a in a in a hotel lobby or something. Big like act. That. that was cringy as fuck. But let's go. Average doctor is not making two hundred thousand plus. They're no. in debt. Yeah. I, I have to push it in perspective. So the niggas, when y'all say I want people that make over five hundred thousand, y'all don't even want doctors. That is no. true. Y'all want That's some unrealistic true. type of shit. I'm telling you, I'm a unicorn. I'm a one of them girls. They want they want a billionaire in their same age range. They want to well, find, that, they want to find themselves he's a like, 26 year old billionaire. That's what he's talking about. You think you're going to find someone who's making over $500,000 and you, and you, he goes on here to say like, and you think they're going to be in their twenties? Like get out of here. Bitch. Let's see one. I shouldn't even be me. When y'all say I want niggas who are making hundreds of thousands, a doctor comes out usually quarter million or more in debt. They're going to be in debt for the next 10 to 20 years. Mm-hmm. And whatever you might think their salary is, even if it's 300000 after they're done paying student loans, they're paying for maybe a mortgage, they also have a kid and they have a wife, and they're in their mid-30s. You're not even talking about niggas who are in their mm-hmm. 20s. You're looking at niggas who are pushing 40. Exactly. I, I, I want y'all to understand what money is. They yeah. late the average 40s. doctor is not making saying, like, Yeah, they in their late 40s. Come on. Now. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh. The future <laughs> for most women. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> she probably buy a dog and die this guy? Griffin mind? All right. I we're going to take this in. So done with dating mm-hmm. with guys. I don't know how. Stop dating at your league. Stop dating at your league. Get you a guy that'll, that'll love you, right? That'll treat you right. But you you dating dudes that don't even like you. Yeah. They just want to smash. Yeah. And, and, and us dudes... Maybe not slug, but me, I, I lie to a bitch every. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. I keep it godly with her, but he keep it godly with them. I'll tell you, no, I'm like, I really like you. I really, really, really like you. Like, yeah, no, I'll be like, hey, listen, it is what it is. Stop crying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you six three, you got, you can't, you can do that. I can't do that. At five I guess, eight, all right. At sure, five right. eight, I gotta lie through my teeth. Sure, man. Sure, sure, sure. No, that's the reality. All right, man. all right, all right. I always end up in the exact same situation it's always the same thing they're not in a place where they have a relationship they, they have don't like you. things that are more important yeah and I'm or you're like, not that good i never work on yourself good enough women have been fed a lie just yourself. as much as men have when it comes to how we should operate in the world men hit 18 and they immediately understand that their value is low because the world reflects that they get oh, out yeah. into the world and get very few results women hit 
Men are told that even if they're good looking dudes, men are told, yo, you you dumb, you this, you that, you gonna flop. You broke. You know what I'm saying? Like you you told every negative thing in the world, so we learn to cope with that. We learn to deal with that. Women are just boosted up like well, motherfucking uh, uh, Simba when he was born. It's easy for us to realize, you know, what's kind of going on and the and the and the probability of things and. It's not just we don't we don't run off possibilities, you know what I'm saying? Whereas women, it's just like, oh, there's a chance it could happen, so I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm a hold out for that. I ain't gonna never settle. Mm, like, tell them. hit 18 and they immediately get tons of results and have tons of options, but then they have to face the harsh reality later in life once they hit the so-called wall, wall, which is usually anywhere between like 28 all the way up to like 35. But when women face reality, a lot of the times it's too late and they can't really do anything about it. It's just Max. another reason why everyone needs to hear this information. So, we so me and Slug both 37, right? Y'all might think this is arrogant, but even if I talk to a 29 year old bitch and I'm like, she's, she's single. She don't got no kids. Ew. What are you, what, are, what's wrong with you? Mm. What are you doing that's wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Well, oh, you wanted to wait till you was 35 to have a kid. I mean, that's, it's, you, it's thought, a, you thought a man, a husband was going to jump in your lap. It's like the Godfather said, man, self-awareness is sexy. So if you For can't real. understand really where, where your value at. You know, as a woman. But that's why I like them quirky girls. I, like, oh, yeah, I, I am a nerd and I am a this because they're a little more conscious of the fact that, like, I'm kind of socially awkward, you know, but they're at least more aware. They're not out here trying to be on some hot girl, city girl. Yeah, and half of these girls ain't even hot. They ain't even hot. I don't even yeah. like to use that word, but yeah. it, take, it takes a very different kind of gem for me to be, like, a tr like really attractive, like, wow. Mm. She's jaw dropping. It takes a different kind of gem, you know, mm. and they don't exist often. We can build a happier, healthier society. I give up. Borrowing a box. Whoa! Oh, this fact that I heard this one before. <laughs> you, you heard them all. Yeah, man. I'll be on them, on them nets like that. Let's see. Borrowing a bar of soap, someone. Borrowing a bar of someone's soap that's been in their bum. Let's or go. Or someone's soap that's been in their bum. In their bum. Like it's, how are you guys no, using but soap it's like your being house? In and around your bum and your nethers. Oh, you know, no zones. I don't know about in. But like when you're soaping yourself up, yeah. do you do you, Ryan? You lather up your hand. Yeah, uh, see, Aussie, to... first of all, Aussies, can y'all speak real English like us, please? That's all I ask of you. I don't ask for much. But I'm No. I'm not using her soap, I know that much. Yeah, but here's the thing, she like you know, especially if you use like, oh my god, you you can like he says here, you lather up your hands, you get the soap. I I I lather that shit up my chest or it's easy, and you don't have to put the actual bar of soap up on your booty hole. Like you can just get the lather and work the lather. And she's like, watch this, she hands, and then use your hands. She's like, oh my god, what? How are you? You can do soap? that. Is that actually how you use a bar of soap? Is that how you not? To, yeah. to play devil's advocate, it's not like someone sits there and teaches you how to use a bar of soap. I mean, the alarm going off. Oh yeah, right. But I was never. No one ever taught me how to use a bar of soap. You just kind of learn things from TV. And in TV, they got the shit in their hand when they got bubbles forming on their head and they just singing and shit. Right. So yeah. that's how I. That's how I do it. Oh my god! What have you been doing? Oh my god! You've been putting the soap. No, her reaction's a little I too much. Yeah, but it's just a little dumb. What's your thought on, on Black Lives Matter? What is it? What, what do you mean? The idea is that there's this it? movement. Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, I love Lil Wayne, man. Lil Wayne was, Lil Wayne was uh, saved by a white cop, you know? He, Yo, he, he yeah, actually he, shot himself in the, he in the chest he, when he, he was he's like not, nine. He's not on that pro-black fucking whatever kind of shit, like, you know what I mean? Called Black Lives Matter, thinking that the rest of America didn't seem to understand that, that Black Lives Matter. It just sounds weird. I don't know that you put a name on. It's not a name. It's not whatever, whatever. It's somebody got shot by police for a reason. I am a young, black, rich if that don't let you know that America understand black matter these days, I don't know what it is. Don't come at me with that dumb man. My <laughs> life matter, especially to my. This is my business. <laughs> he didn't have to say that part though. Hey man, you had to say that, that part. Was corny, but you know what I'm saying, but I, I agree with him though. You know what I mean? It's hello black billionaires and millionaires. So like, you know what I mean? And and, and, and statistically, black people getting killed by cops. You, it pales in comparison to black, black people getting killed by black people. Black right. lives matter to a fucking, uh, you know, commercialism 
To capitalism. To fat lesbians. That's what it matters to because they get, to, they're to, getting paid. Who getting the money? Yeah, the exactly. Fat, the fat lesbians are getting that, paid that, for that. That black live money matter. The, like, fat, the fat lesbians are getting paid by that, but yeah. at the end of the day, they don't even like black men. I mean, I mean you, you hear how they talk when, it, when it's yeah, not the black anti, lives matter. They're anti-family. You know what I mean? You know. Michael, do you know what the leading cause of death oh, for yes, pregnant yes. people is? Pregnant people? Oh, mm-hmm. pregnant people? Mothers? Women? If you'd like to call them mothers, not all of them are mothers, but if you'd like to call them that. What are they if they're not pregnant mothers? Pregnant fathers? They're pregnant people. What, what people <laughs> other than mothers are pregnant? It only takes a couple extra syllables to use inclusive language. To include and who? It seems to include people who don't cla- you know, identify as women but well, can become woman? pregnant. So you're telling me that <laughs> right? in order what is to a be woman? a moral person, I need to accept the idea that a man can really become a woman. That's, that's a, a prerequisite of my being a moral person. I mean, yes. I would yes. like to identify, I do identify actually, mm-hmm. as the correct person on this issue. And I would just ask that you accept That's how I and affirm my uh, identity. Do you? Well, you are not a medical professional, and abortion and pregnancy no, is a medical my concern. <laughs> he doesn't, I'm talking about my identity. I identify as being well, you right. Are not, see, women love I to identify as being right here. So do you not accept that? I'm right. Well, women love to use uh, 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 authority figures as an exa- as a as a you know. Yeah. Uh, unless a doctor comes in and says it's nah. It's the same thing. That ain't it. If a cop then arre- they don't agree a, with a, co- a cop are arresting you or, or or maybe detaining you or something like that, and you're like, hey, like you can't do this and that, and they're like, oh, where'd you get your law degree from? It's like I don't have to have a law degree. To know the law. Yeah, but it's not just that. It's like it was the if, same if, argument, if a right? doctor comes in, you don't have to be a doctor to no, know. They're coming basic from a, they're biology. coming from they're coming from a, 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 a stance of author, yeah. authority, right? But if a doctor comes in and disagrees with them, now nah, they just dismiss that, right? It's yeah. just dismissed all of a sudden. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's nonsense. That's not your identity. That is my. I promise you, that's my identity. No, that's <laughs> Michael, my, do you know what the leading cause? Of- oh my god. If you're not ready to be a daddy, don't do daddy things. Be a man and decide that if you're not willing to actually make a commitment to the woman you're about to sleep with or the child you might be about to create, then you don't make that decision. But you don't get to cop out of your responsibility. I bet you this guy got millions of views. I believe this guy's a It's like, uh, uh, what's his name? Derek Jackson. I bet this guy likes getting... Tell a bunch of fat women what they want to hear. This guy likes getting paid. Yeah, you tell a bunch of women what they want to hear and they're going to love you, right? Mm. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear... Something that's favorable. They to want to hear what they want to hear. They want to be lied to. Yeah. You know, like a pimp nigga told me back in the day. He says huh. they, these hoes they just want to be lied to. You know, you cheating on them. She asking if you cheat. You tell her no, even though she know that you cheat. <laughs> she just want to be lied to, right? Oh my god. Put it all on her as if you're noble and a feminist because you supported her right to choose. No, you supported her right to bear the burden for the rest of her life because of an action. Well, I mean, she oh could have had an god. abortion, right? They'd be pushing for abortion so hard, right? She could have just had an abortion, right? Instead of just blaming the man, it was her choice to have the baby, was it not? This guy's so cringy, man. You participated in and then walked away from. I cannot think of a of a lower form of irresponsibility. Y'all ever heard of a? Post- well, yeah, I thought y'all ever heard have of any, have any choice in whether this baby's being born or and not? Y'all ever of heard course, of, it's all on her. That's what they're fighting for. And y'all ever heard of postpartum depression? Like a lot of these women, oh they have God. a kid and then they lose their damn mind. It, they become unbearable to be around. You know. They become unbearable. Trust me, I know. And you just want, yeah, he know, right? But so, (laughs) what, you just want him to stick around, right? But if a man becomes a different person all of a sudden, he's just a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. He's just a piece of shit. No, he's always a piece of shit. She just didn't realize it till now. Right? Because women want the accountability of a child. They get treated like children. They really do. You know, a woman can never be wrong. A woman has to be uh, 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 catered to and spoiled. You know how much women I see on online websites? I just want to be spoiled. I'm my love, a sugar daddy. My love language is is a uh, uh, ex. What, what do they call a one where you buy them shit? Oh, uh, uh, I don't even know right now. It's but you know what I'm talking about, right? I know you're talking about super last love. Yeah, language. just dumb. I'm done with this dude. Yeah, man. Cause I'm over here. You know, I'm overseas. People telling me all the time. They're like, man, your girl probably got another man already. And I'm like, man, no, I, no, she, no, she won't. She faithful. She faithful. But then I get here. I have been faithful though. I oh, have man. been faithful. Did you see what she said? It looked kind of like a skit, though. It looked a little bit. But it happens. This shit happens a lot. It looked a little, oh, yeah. For this sure. shit happens a lot for with sure. these military dudes, right? Oh, yeah. Did you see what she said on that camera? I Did see you see? What she said. I mean, we both sat there watching with our headphones in this freaking building right here. Look to your, that's the building we was just in. And you sat there and told this man right here about how you felt about me. Oof. And now you got this crazy look on your face, like you don't even care about what's what's going on with me. Like you don't, I don't have no feelings. You left me alone. So what's the problem? I, I, help me out. Okay, what's the problem with you? So why why are you feel like me? Like I said, I have not been able to reach you. 
you don't you don't even be sending me enough money. I got to come up here to money. That's you need money. It's taking care of these kids by myself. I like, have a question for you. So then I just say that these women be switching up. Where's homeboy hairy arm homeboy no. talking about that? He don't want to talk about that, right? Because women they, they can they can do no wrong. What was your intentions with him after getting his number? That's a real question. Thank you. What was your attention? I just need somebody to talk to. Oh, I just need somebody, I just need somebody to talk to. I'm over here. I need attention. You know, I'm over oh, my God. I just need attention. That's so cringy. Like, Should we cut it off now because we hit a 20-minute mark? Yeah, we got to go, man. All right, man. Slug got to go pick up his daughter. Hey, Merry hey, Christmas. Hey, hey, hey. Merry Christmas. It's holiday season. Right? Yeah, we're going to catch y'all till the next time. To the next time. To the next time. Right? Mm. Oh girl, you can't do what the guys do, you know, and still be a lady. Oh man, oh man, may I beg you stick to your man. On that note, uh, peace. Peace. Like and subscribe, and please comment and let us know what you think. Ah, hit the if bell. You, if you if you want to comment and tell me how ugly I am, go ahead, do that. If you want to tell Slug that his his shirt look jacked up, you do that. Right? It's pajamas. Pajamas. Yeah. Right. Hard All right, man. We'll see y'all later. Peace. Peace.